Why is Thor's brother not as famous? Because he likes to keep it on the low key. <laughs> the low key. Yeah. What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffles, and today we're looking at the SH Figure Arts Avengers Thor from Avengers Assemble. Um, this is from the first movie, so they made this figure. I think they already made one, but this is kind of like a recreation. And what's really cool is that you get the swinging hammer effect, which is something I can't wait to look at. If you're looking to pick this up, you know where to go. You can go to www.dstartoys.com and we'll have a for awesome action figures. We're going to look at paint and detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. So enough of me talking. Let's go to the top cam and see what we're dealing with here. This figure was purchased by my good friend, Daniel Hernandez, not Takeshi69. But if he is Takeshi69, he sure is not telling me. <laughs> anyway, um, we're going to open this guy up. I'm going to see how he is. He looks really good. And let's see how he is. Ooh, let's see. Boom, there he is. And first things first, the likeness is always first. Let's see if we can focus up. And there we have it. Does that look like Chris Hemsworth? And I have to say, yes, indeed it does. And the first thing that I also noticed, no gold hair, yes! SH Figure Arts has been known to make their blonde characters with gold hair, and they said, you know what, we are tired of the gold hair, let's give it a more natural look right there, and you can see all the layers and strands of hair and whatnot, and it's actually shaded on the inside, which is really cool. Again, the face is uh, looking like Chris Hemsworth here, 3D printed really nicely, love the eyes, love the beard and everything like that, as you can see right here, they um, blended his uh, beard and it looks really, really cool. Skin tone and everything looks fine as well. Now, let's move all the plastic stuff so it's not in the way and the light isn't shining at us. Most of the plastic stuff, so there's the back end right there. So now let's look at the armor right here. And let's look at the armor plating. It's looking really good. It looks more to be like, uh, the armor is more matte finish than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be a lot more shiny, more leathery, but yeah, it's it's not that bad. But more importantly, you got to look at the arms right here, which is a really nice metallic sheen right there. It's looking really good, as well as the gauntlets. As you can see, they actually added some shading to the gauntlets as well. It's looking really cool. Now, no version 2 body here, unfortunately. We are dealing with these same ball joints in the crotch right there, so no version 2 articulation. Just back to the old school way. Um, and let's look at the boots right here. Of course, we had the metallic boots and with mixed in leather right there. So, so far, oh yeah, oh duh, duh, duh. SH Figure Arts, thank you. You are now incorporating wired capes. Thank you, thank you. Um, but back then, the capes were all plastic, not good. Now they are trying to incorporate cloth capes with wires and I am really, really digging it. Uh, hopefully one day we'll get some cloth, cloth capes on like Dragon Ball characters like Piccolo, who knows? Probably not. Piccolo, Piccolo Namekian. The proud Namekian Piccolo came with a plastic cape. I didn't like it, so I replaced it with a cloth one with a wire, and it looks much better. This looks really good. I love what they did with this store right here, where we have the cloth cape with the wire. So hopefully we will no longer see plastic capes in the future from SH Figure Arts. Now let's go into articulation and scale. Let's see how tall this guy is standing. He's standing almost six and a half inches tall. And we got to compare them with other action figures here. So we have other Marvel characters. Here is a Mafex Spider-Man. Ooh, he's taller than Mafex Spider-Man, so it does look like they scale really well. He's taller than most. And of course, Marvel Legends, maybe not the best representative. Let's stand those up again. One second. Okay, so here is everyone. Uh, we have on the right there, we have Marvel Legends. Miles Morales, Spider-Man. We have the SH Figure Arts Thor Avengers Assemble Edition. We have the Mafex Spider-Man comic book. And we have the um, Bring Arts um, Tetsuya Nomura designed Thor, as you can see right there. Sorry about the camera. Uh, as you can see, this looks really good. He scales really well. He, he might be scaled a little bit bigger than the original Avengers Thor. But, you know, I really like it. I like where, where they're going with this. 
and he scaled really nicely. Now let's go into articulation. Let's go see what he has. We have an up and down here at the toe. We have an ankle joint right there. We have a single bend at the knee. Of course, we have the ball joint right there. No thigh swivel, but we do get an ab crunch right here, and that's thanks to the two midsection um, articulation points. Do we have butterfly joints? Kinda not really. I would have to say no, that is not a butterfly joint. That's just a regular joint. Um, so one single joint right there in the shoulder. Unfortunately, again, no bicep swivel. It seems like they're trying their best. When it comes to SH figure arts, I notice that they don't put as much articulation into these guys just because they're trying to keep with the aesthetic of the figure, trying to keep it as clean as possible. We have ball and peg right here at the wrist, two at the neck. Oh, is that two? Yeah, that's two at the neck, one at the base, and one at the top looking to be under 20 points of articulation, but he's articulated where it counts. So let's see if he could do a boom superhero landing pose. That's very important because they are superheroes. And something like this. Uh, probably not as good. He would have really benefited from a thigh swivel for that pose. So this is as far as we can go with him. We got front kick, side kick, flying knee, shore yukens, flying in the air. And yeah, he's very articulated. You can get all the poses, most of the poses that you want. Uh, superhero landing, not so much. Now let's go into, let's go to the top cam. Accessories, more importantly, the most important accessory that I absolutely love. Can't wait to look at this one. Let's look at it now. Look at this beautiful um, effect piece. Something that I've always wanted was when he's swinging Mjolnir. That is absolutely gorgeous right there. Uh, we also get a thunder hitting Mjolnir right here. And it wouldn't be a Thor without an actual Mjolnir. And we get an extra faceplate and let's see six extra hands. Uh, so let's go to the front cam. Let's do a quick face swap before we move on. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, that just comes out like that. Oh wow, so the whole, usually you take out the hair and then the faceplate comes off. No, not this time. It looks like you just get that. So there is the face right there. He's looking to the side. He's like, ha ha, another. Perhaps we should get some swarma afterwards. And there you have it. That looks really good, I have to say. So let's take that off. Let's go put this one back on. I think I like this one better, the one where he's just straight face right there. Looking really solid. Uh, let's look at Mjolnir. There's Mjolnir. Pretty standard stuff. I mean, it's nothing special. And this is the same Mjolnir that we've always gotten. But let's look at this guy. I have to figure out how this works. So give me a second and I'm going to outfit him. And here we are. He is outfitted. Super easy to outfit, by the way. Uh, all you have to do is change out the hand. This one has like a handle built in. And then this peg goes right into that hand for a really nice, easy, simple fit right there. And yeah, there's nothing too complicated about this. It's just really plug and play when it comes to adding that effect piece. Look at this, this is so thumbnail worthy right now. Looking really, really solid. That's something that I'm really hyped about. It looks really, really good. Um, I guess we will look at him with Mjolnir and stuff like that. It shouldn't be simple stuff. If you've seen a Thor figure before, you know what he looks like, but this is really what I was looking forward to. Um, is this effect piece and he just looks really good. Let's let's just be honest. That just looks so cool I love that he comes with that So let's come to the conclusion of the SH figure arts Avengers assembled Thor is this the best looking MCU Thor? I'm just gonna tell you right now. Yeah, it, it really is um, It's not just the effect piece the faces look really solid. They got rid of the gold hair They gave him a wired cape. He looks really good really solid. No issues here. Could I have asked for um, better joints? Yeah, I, I think that if I'm looking, if I'm gonna nitpick anything, come on, SH Figure Arts, you gotta give us that version two body on these figures. You've been sticking with version one for so long, and it seems like you're just rehashing these figures over and over with the same body, nothing new. Sure, you're gonna throw in some extra effect pieces, some cloth capes, that's cool and all, but really, SH Figure Arts, the art part of SH Figure Arts is 
the art of posing them however you want, adding those articulation points. You guys do it with Dragon Ball toys and everything like that, with the Kamen Rider and whatnot, but you just avoid it with MCU figures? Don't know why they do that. <laughs> anyway, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And last but not least, you can always go to www.dstartoys.com your reliable source for awesome action figures just look how cool this figure is and i'll see you guys next time peace So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.